I am so happy to be joined here today on Primetime Local News by a very familiar face to people in Lloydminster and across Canada because of what she has accomplished in her broadcasting career. Claire Hanna is joining us from Latvia today. Claire, thank you for speaking with us. Thank you so much for having me. Now, Claire, we're going to talk about um, what you've done since you've left Lloydminster. You are based out of Regina now, but for the next few weeks, you are working for TSN in Latvia at the Men's World Hockey Championships. Tell me about that, how that came about, and what you're doing there. Well, I got a very surprised phone call from one of the VPs of TSN um, saying they had a gig that I might be interested in, and it was just before the CFL draft that they got in touch with me. So I sort of thought it might be, you know, hosting something for that, maybe just giving them a pack. So when they asked me if I'd be interested in being a reporter in Latvia for the men's world hockey championships, it was definitely from left field. Um, I instantly knew I was going to be interested without even thinking of the COVID protocols and the travel. Um, none of that changed my decision but there was a lot to soak in and realize okay foreign country players who's uh, in a lot of cases their language um, english might be second third fourth language um but without hesitation i was interested and what was the process like you mentioned the international travel and all these different restrictions we have to deal with now um is it more strict once you, after arriving in latvia or are things a little bit uh, looser when it comes to restrictions over there well, first of all, getting on a plane was so exciting, just traveling and showing my passport, something I didn't think would happen maybe for you. Travel, travel was fairly strict. You know, everybody was wearing masks on the planes. Um, I actually took a charter from Newark to Latvia directly to Riga with the NHL players who had been released or finished playoffs with their teams here. That was an experience like just a once in a lifetime experience. And it's not like we mingled with the players on the flight, but um, it was just, it was pretty cool to be sitting. I was sitting across from Ollie Matta, who's with the LA Kings. And behind me was Adrian Kempe, who's um, also with the Kings, things like that. You know, that was pretty neat. But here in Latvia, um, we're in a bubble and speaking with people, I thought it would be more open here, Stacy, but it is so similar to Canada. No in restaurant dining patios apparently are just opening up next week but they're still not open now so very similar to Canada it's not like even if I was allowed out of the bubble I'd be able to have a really touristy experience and when you are covering the games Claire for TSN what is your role uh, over there in Latvia I'm going to be doing interviews with coaches and possibly players before the game teeing up the game um with the players and coaches just getting a sense for how excited they are a lot of people are making their very first world championship appearances um we're not sure right now if i'm going to be doing intermission interviews because the protocol um figure i even though i'm included in a way in a bubble with the players but there still has to be that separation and i'm going to be doing a post game interview with the players but that one's on the ice so it's funny, just like everything in this pandemic, we're pivoting, we're told to be flexible, things are um, adjusting and adapting a lot on the fly. But um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of interviews with players and coaches. Now, Claire, as if that isn't exciting enough, you still have another big event coming up that you've been asked to do. Uh, you were, for those of you who don't know, a professional volleyball player, and that has taken you to now... Uh, not your first time, but within the next Olympics, you're going to get to do some commentating on beach volleyball. So tell me about that. And Stacey, you probably remember, even when I worked um, at what was Newcap in Lloydminster, I always tried to fit in a lot of volleyball stories. <laughs> I'm going to be doing well play-by-play -play commentary for CBC during the Olympics. And um, I'm going to be covering beach volleyball. Mostly, I represented Canada for indoor volleyball, um, but not for beach, but I played a lot of beach growing up. So I'm, I'm so excited to bring Canadians, honestly, some stories. Most people are surprised um, when I tell them that we have the best women's beach volleyball team in the world. Sarah Pavin and Melissa Humana Paradis are ranked number one in the world. They won the world championships in 2019. 
everybody thinks Brazil, Team USA. Nope, Canada, we are on top right now. Yes, the Brazilians and the Americans are great too. But um, so I'm really excited to just shine a light on how, how incredible our athletes are. And now for, Claire, uh, for that, Claire, as well, do you know yet how it's going to work? Because it is, uh, you know, a little ways away yet, but will there be a bubble or is that something that you can do virtually from uh, working in Regina or how is that going to work for you? Great question. Um, obviously, I was hoping to get to, to go to Tokyo, but I will be calling the games in Toronto. They've got um, a whole bunch of, um, in a way, sound booths and edit suite and works out the three time beat. Olympian, he won a bronze medal in 96. Um, admiring Mark. So, so excited to work with him. But we're going to be in a booth in Toronto. And um, there's so many protocols they because you don't know what restrictions are going to be added by that time. So, a variety of plans, I think, for Toronto, but we'll be calling it there. Well, Claire, thank you so much for joining us today. You have done such great things with your career. And I'm just so excited to watch you on TSN with the men's world hockey and then also with the Olympics. So good luck with everything. And thank you so much for speaking with us, Claire. It's just so exciting to keep up with what you're doing. Thank you, Stacey. And I just want to say thank you so much for giving me my very first job in this industry. I owe you a lot. So thank you. Well, it was all you, Claire. Clearly, clearly the talent has taken you far. So I don't know where you go from here. Uh, you've done so many, so many great things. So we'll keep watching you. And, and uh, it's always just a pleasure to chat with you as well.